So whether it's for individual investors, nonprofits, Fortune 500 companies, Larry Glazer of Mayflower Advisors has worked with them all during this market bull run. And he joins us now to offer his take on where this market is heading. Larry, it sounds like you're not as sanguine. You know, Kelly, the way I was raised, the more expensive something becomes, the less attractive it becomes. And that's clearly where we are today. In honor of our nation's birthday, July 4th, it's my patriotic responsibility to point out some of the issues that we're having with this rally. Look, it's great when the major market averages are hitting all-time highs. We love it, right? It's great for people's 401ks. But it's not great when you see short-term interest rates at historic lows. It's not great when you see volume anemic. And it's certainly not great when you see volatility at historic lows. There's questionable economic data out there with the first quarter GDP that's contracting. And we have massive geopolitical concerns all over the place. So because of that, you have an eyes wide open market. You want to see the potholes and you want to see the landmines and you want to be careful because they're just in front of us. Larry, I want to get the panel here in a second. But first, uh, before I do, where are you putting all of this client money to work then? Yeah. Look, there are plenty of places to put money to work today. You just have to be careful. It's not a game. You don't want it to be silly season. People get a little sloppy when they start chasing the market, and that's what's happening right now. Valuation is determined by earnings. You've got to stay disciplined But I mean, what are you telling people? Cash? Are you putting them into bonds? Because it's not look, like it's not expensive there. No no question. Look, balanced portfolios. Look, there is some value overseas. There's some what value is a balanced portfolio space. overseas? Okay. Sure. Emerging markets still look cheap relative to domestic markets. Dividend payers will give you some support if you do get a major market correction. So there is value expensive. out there. They're not only expensive, the dividend but they're, players. they're volatile. Really they're volatile. volatile. Look, everything's volatile. It's a question of pick your, pick your poison. Pick your poison. <laughs> no. You should be concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, isn't the problem that you've enunciated here well known to all of us? We make light of the fact that this is the most hated bull market of all time. Absolutely. Everyone hates the rally. The average investor hates the rally. The professional investor hates the rally. There are people at ideological war with the Fed for five years now that are dying for the market to go down just so they could prove that they were right <laughs> after right. all. There, right. There's tremendous amounts of people who hate the rally. Isn't that the best thing that this rally's got going for it? Absolutely. That's, look, look, my crystal ball is no better than anybody else's, but at least I had it and I recognize that when you look if you're a bull you actually want the 10% correction you want the market to pull back to put that money to work so there's plenty of opportunity but valuation is an issue this market is as expensive as it was at the peak in 07 if you look at a price earnings ratio if you look at price to sales it's not cheap and valuation does matter we just want to conveniently forget that when we have to put money to work sometimes so a lot of financial advisors going into the second half of the year say now is the time to reallocate now is the time to to make sure that your portfolio is properly diversified. What does that mean? Where are you supposed to reallocate the money to? Great question. So look, what would have protected you in that 08, 09 debacle? What would have protected you in 2000? It is rebalancing. It's so simple, yet nobody does it, right? Rebalance out of some of the areas that have had great performance. If you have small caps that led the market, that's an area, take some money out of those names. Look, we saw last year was a mirror image of this year. The second half of this year may be a mirror image of the first half of this year. You saw a rebound in some of the commodity names that were decimated last year, like gold, and those had a big pop back. That's why you want to be rebalancing. Financials, believe it or not, as a sector, have had a pretty good recovery. So that's an area said you'll have profits. They can take profits. Don't be afraid to take profits. Look, you can rebalance that money into right. other areas of the portfolio that are more reasonably valued, and that will protect you going forward. Larry, appreciate the pushback on uh, all the hoopla today. <laughs> Good to see you. Larry Glazer from Mayflower Advisors.